Hi everyone, this is Brad. The other day I saw a tutorial by teaching it about how to create a paint by numbers Google form. And I thought, how cool for kids and people of all ages to answer questions in a Google form and then have a picture be colored in. So I'm gonna include the video in my blog post as well, but I'm just gonna go through a few of the tips and tricks here. So the first one is to go into coloritbynumbers.com and then select online. And when you do so, you can go through and choose one of these that you would like. Now, I chose the Toucan and looks like this. I recommend going in using something such as the snipping tool to go ahead through and take a picture of this right in here so you have exactly uh, what it looks like. So here it is, file, save as, and save it to wherever it is you'd like. I saved it to my, uh, to my desktop. Now, what you'll then need to do is you'll then need to go ahead through and select like the number one and start filling in the colors for number one, and then take a picture of that, and then do it for the twos, the threes, the fours, all the way uh, through. I'll show you why, because here is the original picture right here, but then we have the ones that are here filled in, and the twos, and all the way up to nine, the final picture. So what we now need to do is go in and start creating a Google Form. So I just call this Paint by Numbers Google Form, you can see the information here. I did a first name, last name. And now what I am going to do is I'm going to add uh, the image so they know what the uh, what the image is. So let's go ahead through. Let's find it. Here it is. And you, know, you could say, and this is the image you'll be working on, whatever it may be. So now what we need to do is we need to go in and we're going to add a section. So I'm just going to do that right here. Just say add section. And on this one, I'm going to say color the ones. So, you know, answer the question below to color the ones. All right, so what we need to do is we're going to go ahead through. And again, I'm going to add the image again, just so they see what they're coloring in. They haven't answered anything yet. So this original one's going to come up right here. Now I need to add a question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a question. And in this one, what I'm going to do is something simple. What, whoops, what is one plus 10? Okay. So I'm going to change this over here and I'm going to change it to just a short answer. So let's select short answer. And then what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to select these three dots and I'm going to do response validation. When I do that, what I want is I want the number to be equal to the number 11. And the custom error text, that's if something is wrong, you could say something like, you know, keep trying or whatever you would like to use. So that's what I'm going to use right now, uh, right here. Uh, the answer is 11. So now what I'm going to do, because I have this all set up, you could, of course, give this an image title if you want. I'm going to go ahead through and I'm going to select these three dots and I'm going to duplicate this section. Of course, I now need to go ahead in and adjust, but everything's kind of saved. So I can go ahead through and I say color the twos. But now I'm going to click in here and what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead in and select where it says image title. So you could say color the twos again in here if you wanted to, whatever you would like. However, if you notice these three dots, you're going to select right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select change and we're going to go in and we're going to find that first picture um, where the ones were colored in. So here it is. So the ones were colored in. So now they're going to answer this question and it will go on to the twos so again or i'm sorry it's going to show the picture of the twos after we do it so we'll then go into color the three so again what we're going to do is we're going to come up here we're going to duplicate the section and then we're going to say color the threes and then color the threes and then we're going to change the picture and again that's just selecting right here because they answered the question correctly before. So it's going to go ahead through. We're going to browse. We'll find the twos. And you would, of course, continue this until it's all completed. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so here's the completed one. I did go in and just customize the theme so you could go ahead and uh, go ahead through and... Uh, add different things if you if you'd like to uh, that's up to you but I'm gonna scroll through and just show you 
what it looks like. There's the ones, the twos, and so on all the way down to the very end. And it looks like that. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like from the student point of view to fill it out. Okay, so here it is. I put my first and last name. There's the picture. I'm going to go ahead through. I'm going to say next. And you can see to color in the ones. Okay, one plus 10 is 11. Go ahead through. I'm going to select next. And now I can see that was colored in. So I want to go ahead through. I'll answer 12. Okay, so what happens if you put something in incorrectly? So say I said 14. You can say it says keep trying like oh it's 13 and they go through until it has all been completed so there you go if you do have any questions let me know thanks for watching take care bye bye